experiment is not a palpable activity. Where do you place your fingers to begin with and where in the air do you probe for the next note? Without volume, there is no note reference and there is no sound reference. Meaning, if one can't hear the voice of the theremin well enough, it is near impossible to locate pitch and then to play at all. One can't even try. There is little muscle memory to count on. The player does not practice in a human-machine feedback kind of way. A slight movement will change the pitch precariously though bad or good pitching will ultimately make or break your confidence and that of your audience. The instrument must be positioned with adequate space around it. This space is the playing area, like the keys of a piano, except invisible. Much to my chagrin, this space is used by people traipsing on and off stage. Remember that the electromagnetic field is circular to encompass two to three feet. Well, that is at least what I request to have, space-wise. And that any movement in any point in that field will trigger a change. It is susceptible to environmental changes such as temperature and barometric pressure. Once tuned, it's better to leave surrounding objects constant. This is just a short list of conditions under which the theremin enthusiast must endure to make music. As a thereminist, you are in total and utter control of every nuance of the phrase and melody unlike any instrument. Your ability is only evidenced through time and practice along with your style. Well, actually, there's really not much to compare it to, is it? I suppose the reason that that reputation came about is justified in that not only don't you not touch anything, well actually if you can't tell you're out of tune then maybe it's a less hard instrument to play. If your hearing is really good and you hear how much you mess up because you don't touch anything you have no tactile reference clearly you're just in space and if you don't have a like a feedback loop telling you constantly you're in tune, you're out of tune, you're in tune, you're out of tune. You gotta move your finger that much, you know, that way and you're gonna be in tune. You have to be constantly being able to adjust. And so in a way, you might say that the instrument is harder for people who have really good pitch. I think that one of the things that gets lost with it being so hard to play in tune, really, that that is not the ultimate goal of music. What I look for when I'm hearing a theremin player is their personality and emotional contents. You know, so much gets lost and people get nervous and play it safe. You know, am I gonna, you know, sound like an idiot in front of my friends? You know, gotta be in tune, gotta be in tune, gotta be in tune. Meanwhile, this is, you know, kind of a recipe for a lifeless piece of music on occasion. When I'm, you know, playing a piece in, in terms of I get, you know, maybe a little lost over, okay, you know, stressing my right hand in the pitch more than the actual articulation. So far, I've just had these two hands totally divorced from each other. This one's doing this and this one's doing that. Of course, they are actually working in consort. Okay, you got your right hand together. Your left hand, now you're starting to pay attention to that. Okay, now they're starting to speak to each other, right hand and left hand into make this phrase. Now, depending upon what your left hand is doing, your right hand might play it in a different way than what your left hand is doing. So you got to also remember that these hands speak to each other. So putting them together and realizing what you're doing on that hand is going to influence or possibly make a more beautiful phrase by changing the way you would do your right hand because interacting with the left hand. It's helped me get in touch with my feminine side a little more, actually, you know, because like, it's very high and, you know, so I'm singing like a soprano. Clearly, playing the theremin will make you as aware of pitch as you're ever going to be. When you're out there performing live and you got to try and nail it the first time, every little bit where you are not on it pains you during and after.